Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. It is Ivy here and today I'm going to be doing a sort of review comparison on high-end stirrups being the Free Jump Soft Up Pros and the MDC Super Sport stirrups. Hope you enjoy. going through a couple little different things and you guys can make a judgment for which stirrups you personally think are better. Um, so I'll be going through colour options, the sizes, the weight, the tread as in the width, grip and support, um, the price and then other pros and other cons. Um, okay so first off the free jump soft up pros. So I use these for jumping and cross country and sometimes I use them on trails just because they're really easy to put on. They come in quite a lot of colours so like I see them all over shows like so many people have them in just like all different kind of colours. So there is black and red, black and pink, black and navy, black and blue, black and chocolate, black and bordeaux, black and black, black and green, black and orange, black and vanilla or chocolate and chocolate. Um, or there is the premium edition, which are more expensive, which come in silver, um, bronze and gold. So these are the premium edition silver ones, and then my dad also has the plain black on black ones. Now when we talk about the weight, these come in at 498 grams, which is sort of medium weight. For reference, these stirrups, which quite a lot of people use, these are composites. These come in at less than 200 grams, at 198. And then regular stirrups, which are these ones, all, um, all of these stirrups are around four and three quarter inches. Um, these come in at 427 grams, which is medium. So these are quite similar. So these actually feel heavier than these in hand, but these are heavier. I think it's because these are a lot more sort of streamlined and this is kind of, it distributes it. Yeah, when I do that, I can tell that the free jumps are heavier, but when I'm just holding them normally, these feel heavier and I think that's because of the design of these it kind of distributes the weight throughout the stirrup not sure anyways because this all of the weights kind of just planted at the bottom whereas the free jump has the arms that take up quite a lot of volume we talk about the tread the free jump has got quite a wide base which is good it's really supportive and you're more likely to keep your foot in like it's not going to slip the grip is quite good it's got spikes they're pretty grippy and they keep your foot in the stirrup now the stirrup's also got an incline, so it encourages you to keep the weight down in your heels. Um, now the prices can vary depending on where you get them from and also the colour, but typically they go for $495, but the premium edition ones go for $575, which are the silver ones, the bronze ones, and the gold ones. So they're very expensive. They're a bit more costly, but you can find them a bit cheaper secondhand, like a lot of them secondhand will be around $350ish. Um, again, it depends on what type you've gotten, whether you've got the normal ones or the premium edition. In terms of sizes, these only come in one size, and I've measured it, and it's approximately four and three quarter inches to five inches. So if you've got a bigger shoe and you do pony club, they will probably not pass gear check. Otherwise, if you're doing EA, they don't check things like that. But it's just something to keep in mind, safety-wise, because um, you don't want to steer it that's too tight even if it is a safety stirrup if it's too tight it's just going to be harder for you to get your foot out if it's too small so other pros it is really really easy to put on and take off so as you can see here it's got that little shape through here so you can literally just have your stirrup leathers on your saddle and slide it straight on so you can put them on take them off super easy and i would highly recommend taking them off because they can scratch your saddle very badly because of the tread um, in terms of cons, one, they scratch, and two, they get scratched. So, because of the tread, it can really damage your saddle and just the general shape of it if you leave them on your saddle. So I always take them off and put them in like a stirrup cover bag. And also, they get really scratched. Like, I've had these for three years maybe, and they're, they're quite scuffed. And I can't get rid of the scuff marks or anything. Like, they're just like... It's literally taken the colouring off, like it's taken the paint off, as you can see. 
so that's a real bummer. Um, then it's not noticeable when you're riding, but if you're looking at them close up, you can definitely tell that they've they've been used. And another con is that personally, I find that they turn my toes out, um, which is not great. Um, especially if you're riding in spurs, you're going over a jump. And I find that in normal stirrups, my toes don't turn out nearly as much, but my leg will slip back. But then in these stirrups, my leg will stay more still, but my toes will turn out. And that's not great if you've got spurs, because I hate digging my spurs in my horse when I'm in the air. So yeah, that's something that I've grown to really dislike about these stirrups. This is the free jumps safety mechanism. They let go of your foot like that and they open up, um, but yeah, I've not actually gotten my foot caught in any stirrup before, but I've never noticed them actually bend while I've fallen off. So I've had these for a good three years now, so it's a, it's a pretty, you know, I, I know them quite well, and I've had the full experience with them, so that's everything that I can tell you about them, pretty much. Yeah, so that is the Free Jump Soft Up Pros. Next up, we've got the MDC Super Sports. Now I bought these relatively recently. I got these in... When did I get them? I think I got these in February. So about three months ago. So these come in one colour. Silver, aluminum, with grey rubber. Which... Mm, it, it looks a little bit cheap in my opinion. Um, I'm not the biggest on the looks of them. In terms of sizes, they are more inclusive than the free jumps. They come in four and a half inches, 4.75 inches, and five inches. Anyways, in terms of weight, these are much, much heavier than the regular um, stirrups, the compositive stirrups, and the free jumps. These are 646 grams, so I classify these as like fairly heavy. Like, you know, you've got two of them, that's over 1.2 kilos. That's a lot of stirrup. The tread is very wide on these stirrups, so it's lots of support. The grip is kind of like this pyramid-y shaped spikes. The tread also has an incline, like with the free jump, so it encourages you to keep the weight down in your heels. But the tread isn't actually overly grippy. Like, I can slide my hand through that fairly easily, as opposed to with the free jump, it's a lot more friction. It's still not particularly grippy, like it's not insanely grippy, like some stirrups will have that cheese grater, kind of shark toothy stuff, like I'm pretty sure the gin stirrups have got that, or the Lorenzini's, but it's still um, better than this kind of stuff, the rubber stuff, like this slides right down, because this kind of tread actually wears down after a while, so I'm not big on these, and even with the compositeers, like this is hardly grippy, like you see? See, so I really am not a fan of the compositors just because they're very lightweight, they're kind of flimsy, they're not safety stirrups. The grip on them is kind of shoddy. So these stirrups, I know a lot of people love them, but I personally hate them. Um, I really dislike lightweight stirrups because I feel like they just kind of flop around everywhere. Um, and they don't actually put the weight down. They don't give you something to really put your foot in. But that's just my personal opinion. Some people much prefer lightweight stirrups, but I prefer a heavier stirrup. Anyways, back to the NDCs. The price of these ones, um, normally they're $360, but I got these for $330 from Evolution Equestrian. I bought them at Bustleton Dressage because I rode in these, they were a trial pair, and then I just bought them on the spot. The thing that makes these stirrups stand out is the locking mechanism. So you know how when you put your stirrup on your horse, it normally lays flat against the horse's belly? Well these ones you can actually lock in place, so this part moves and you can turn that. So that's locked at a 45 degree angle, and then you can turn it again so it locks at a 90 degree angle. So instead when your stirrup leather is hanging down from your horse, it already encourages your toes to be in because it doesn't twist the leather against your leg. So one, it's more comfortable. Two, it will give you less knee and ankle pain. And three, it just encourages your toes to stay in. So these turn the whole way around. Like you can just turn them for days. Like they just keep going. Um, but they can become really hard to turn after a while. Like one of my pairs, it might be this one, is a bit harder to turn. So this one's a bit stiffer, like I'm probably going to have to WD-40 that, so that's a con. 
So it can lock at a zero degree angle or a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle. So that's pretty cool. And I found that these stirrups have really, really lessened my ankle pain because I've got really weak ankles that will give way, especially on a horse that's got a bit more elevation in its step. These stirrups have been really good. Like I can actually get off after riding. My ankles don't hurt, which is amazing. So the safety mechanism of these is that the rubber bits bend. So the entire stirrup does this. So you can literally bend the whole stirrup both ways so if you're starting to fall off backwards it will release your foot as your foot comes down so yeah when I first got them I was like are these even safety stirrups like it's not like these rubber bits release or anything but then I realized it does this like the entire stirrup bends like quite drastically like that is a very very tight angle um, and then they just snap back into place like you know I can do that and then they go straight back into place. So you don't have to worry about these breaking or anything like that. Because um, I know there's some stirrups that the arm will let go and then you've got to screw it back in. They're pretty cool. So one thing that I don't like about these is that the rubber can get really, really dirty. Particularly if you've just polished your boots or something, all the dye will come off. And then it's really hard to clean these. Like you have to get hot water and soap them and then just scrub, scrub, scrub. So yeah, they can look a little bit trashy quite quickly. So you've got to kind of keep on top of it if you if you worry about that kind of thing. So main cons are that this can be really, really hard to turn. Like I can't do it with one hand. I have to be holding it and then turn it because it can get quite stiff. But at least you know that it's not going to like pop out or slide or anything while you're riding. Like it's quite solid. And then yeah, these can get dirty. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um... I hope you enjoyed this video. Personally, I prefer the NDC Sports. My ankles still can get sore in these stirrups. They turn my toes out. They get really, really scuffed. Um, and again, they're a bit lighter weight and I don't really like the lightweight stirrups. These I prefer, um, but that's my personal opinion. I know a lot of people that would prefer free jumps. But yeah, so I'm actually selling these and I'm looking into getting some flex on safe ons. I'm currently still in the researching stage, like I've been looking into Lorenzini's, Gin Stirrups, Flexon Safons, Acavallos, Ofinas. So I've been doing lots of research and I will just get whatever I think suits me the best and hopefully I will be able to try them because I think I've got a friend that has some that I can borrow. If you can, before you buy some stirrups you should always see if you can try them. Some shops might have a trial pair like I trialled these and I'd ridden in my friend's stirrups before I bought these. So I knew what they felt like before I bought them and I knew that I liked them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye.